Good day everyone, my name is Jeff Smith, I'm Product Manager for Oracle SQL Developer and today I want to give you a five minute tour of the product. What's it used for, what capabilities does it have, just give you a good impression of the tool and I'm going to time this to see if I can do it. So let's start the clock. I'm showing you for 3.1, you can download this for free and use it for um, the Oracle Technology Network or oracle.com. It'll run on a Windows environment, OS or Linux. Once you have it loaded, installed, and you connect to the database, you can browse the contents of the database via the tree, or you can interact with the database directly running SQL statements on most blocks and work with PL SQL objects. On queries, the results will come back in nice grid kind of workbook views. And right click in here with my mouse and do things like export to Excel or PDF or HTML. I'm not very familiar or comfortable with the SQL language. You can also use our visual query build. So I can click in columns, add expressions or in groupings, and have the state build out for me. Now, if I'm even too lazy to type and click, and just click. So I come over here and I click on an object and open the editor, for, and I can drill in table. And I can say, hey, uh, let's just look at data that I've currently, like, well, whose job ID is something rep. So you can click these column around. You can turn them off. So you can basically manipulate the data, actually presentation of the data, to get just exactly the way you need it before you export it out to format or credit report for your editors. The framework here is very extensible, and I can do that on my own using XML and SQL states. And here's an extension that I created that allows me to create a synonym on the for an object. And something I like about developers, we'll usually show you the SQL statements behind all the clicks through in the tool. And here's another extension I created that actually showed me these things. Now you don't have to run with the extensions if you don't want to, you can just stay out of box. Or if you want to use some extensions, you don't want to write your own. You can use the help for updates and query the party provider list. And here's an example of one that's installed called Open Insider, which gives performance diagnostics for my database. So this is a nice one, it's from a cup called Felephant. We also work with support code objects or anything in the scheme, not just tables. We're showing table data, something that people get excited about. Let's set function. Two functions here, one errors and one doesn't. Look at the program that has error messages. So here's an error panel telling me the line of position, but on the code page I have this red marker that shows me the exact error messages. We're missing a semicolon here. So I can at recompile error message go away. I can execute it. And back comes my data. That's very nice. It's really easy for you to run your grams and see the output back. We have a uh, full blown model solution built into tool. So if you would like an idea of um, how your object related. You can drag them off this tree onto the moss space and have those relationships visually present. So drag employees and let's say jobs to the model space. And now I have a visual orientation of these objects. So I can print these to various mats, including PDF. And I can port this to things like DL files or uh, various other report formats. I'd be remiss not to tell you that there's a full blown reporting interface tool, and we do lots of reports out of the box. You can say things like, hey, tell me about dictionary views. You can create your own reports, which I think is a little more fun. Here's an example of a what we call a mass tail report. 
So I have a chart on the top, and as I click on an object, it the detail or the child it's all under this country that I clicked into. And all of the good and extra features also in these reports. Last thing I need to know, operations. So, uh, SQL Developer is the efficient platform for migrating your applicant's database, or I should say the database that uh, your applications rely on to Oracle. And we make that available via this 9 or 10 step uh, wizard where you can basically connect to data or DB2 or SQL Server. And we step the process of bringing your objects and structures over and then your data over it all. All right, five minutes, 28 didn't quite hit my five minute mark. I thank everyone for your time. To, if you have more questions about SQL Developer, I would highly recommend that you visit our page on the tech network, oracle.com. I would just do it for Oracle SQL Developer, and it should take you right here. Thanks very much.